Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owls Herald, and I'm here to give you guys your daily message for the next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's going on with you guys, what is coming towards you. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. All right, Aries, as you all know, these readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. They're timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the rules as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what are the messages here for my Aries universe. Overall messages for the next 24 to 48 hours. Understanding in the reverse. So there's something you may not be understanding. Someone's not understanding something. Winter. I'm not understanding why the hell we're getting all this snow right now, but obviously it's winter. Return. Wow. What I'm getting here, Aries, is you are not understanding why this person's coming back now. In the winter time. You are not getting, you're not understanding why. What do they want? Why are they trying to come back towards me? What do they need? Someone's returning. But you're in this, you're in this energy where you know you're worth more. You're not going to put up with anybody's lack bullshit, lack mentality. You're not going to allow anyone to step all over you again like they did in the past. I feel like there's some history here between you and this person and it may not be the nicest thing. But this person is stuck on you. They can't stop thinking about you. You pop in this person's head and their mind at least once a day. If not all 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 damn day okay this person was going through their dark night of the shadow or dark night of the soul i'm sorry dark night of the soul and they finally have come out of that they're seeing the light they're guided towards you this is your divine partner that's trying to come back towards you but this person put you through a lot this is your twin flame this person put you through a lot in the past this is why you are not understanding why they're returning. There's a cycle that this person wants to come towards you and close. It may be the fact that they have pending, um, that they have a lot of apologies that they have to give you. Clarity, explanations, but they want to close out a cycle here. And honestly, I feel that this person is wanting to come back towards you because they want to close out that negative, that negative cycle that they created with you. Like they want to show you, they want to prove to you that they've changed. Purge. Hmm. And contemplation. Yeah, you're really going to be thinking about the situation with this person. I don't feel that you're going to, you're going to be too trustworthy this time around when this person comes towards you. They want your forgiveness. I told you, this person is coming back towards you. This is your divine partner. This is your twin flame. This person went through a lot of shit. They put you through a lot of shit. I don't know for some of you guys, and this may be for very little you guys, but this person had a drug habit or a drinking habit, and they put you through so much, so much, and they needed to go through that purge. And now you're contemplating if you want to even give this person the opportunity to apologize you're not even trying to reconcile. You're not even sure if, you, if you're going to give them the chance to even apologize. This person has hurt you. They have hurt you to the core. I can see this person on their knees begging for forgiveness. What else, universe? Didn't I say this is your divine partner? 
Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. This person's coming back towards you. They want you to see that they've changed. This person connects with you in the 5D. You think about this person as well. You do have a lot of love for this person, but I feel that what they have done to you overweighs the fact that you still love them. Like you are so mad at them, I hear. You're so mad at this person that when they do come back towards you, they're going to allow they're going to give you that place and that respect to tell them the hell off. Okay? They feel the that the pain that they have caused you. They feel the anger that you have towards them. They feel this. You guys connect in the 5D. This is your divine partner. This person is coming back towards you. They're coming back towards you to clear things up. They're coming back towards you because they want to apologize for all the stuff that they did to you in the past. What else in the Two of Wands. This person is planning, making decisions to come towards you. They're going to confess and they're going to tell you that they don't want to lose you. Even if they can't have you back as their, as their spouse or their significant other, at least a friendship. But some of you guys are going to be too scared to even allow that. Six of Swords in the reverse. So what is coming back? This person walked away from you in the past, drove away, flew away, ran away, whatever. They just left. Okay, they broke your heart. This person, this this person, what in the world? This person ripped your heart out. This person hurt you to the core. And they're coming back for forgiveness. They're coming back to apologize to you. They're coming back to hang on, I'm sorry. To explain themselves. They're coming back to close out this negative cycle that they left. They're coming back for that. And they want your forgiveness. I don't think this person can live a, a calm life, a stable life, until they obtain that forgiveness from you. For some of you guys, when this person comes back around, you're just going to, it's just going to be like the, wow, I, I haven't seen you such a long time. Like, all of a sudden, all these emotions are going to come, come towards you. And you're going to be confused. You're not going to be sure if you're going to want to give this person an opportunity or not. You're going to be very emotional because this person is actually finally admitting all their wrongs and mistakes. They're being truthful with the King of Swords here. They're coming clean. They're telling you why they did what they did. They're wanting to heal this connection with you. They want harmony with you. They want balance with you. For some of you guys, they're going to want to reconcile with you. But this person, this divine partner is being guided back towards you. Look at, as I say divine partner, look what came out. The two of cups. This person's coming back towards you. They want to reconcile. I'm telling you, for a lot of you guys, even if they can't get you back as their partner, as their husband or their wife, they're going to at least want to have a friendship with you because you mean the world to them. And they know that they hurt you. They forced you to turn your back on them. They forced you to do that. You didn't do it because you wanted to, because you had to. Because if you would have stuck around with this person and all their nonsense, you would have ended up being the one stuck in worse situations. And you had to walk away from this. And this was one of the hardest decisions you have ever made. Some of you guys even carry the guilt that you had to walk away from this person because this person was going through something really hard. But you had given them your all. You had tried to help them as much as you could. And they just didn't want to take your help. And you had to end that cycle. You had to walk away. And here comes your person again. The person that you were in a higher level commitment with, the person that you love, because you still do love them, is coming back to beg you for forgiveness because they want some type of peace with you, some harmony with you. And for a lot of you guys, I'm not going to lie to you, but they're going to want to reconcile with you. And this is going to be a very tough decision because some of you guys can't trust this person anymore because they broke your heart like no one else in this world has ever broken your heart. But your divine partner's on their way back. Okay. All right, guys, I hope and pray this reading gave you clarity. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. You have a good one. Take care. Bye.